Look at that. Look at it. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to take a little break from the solar powered golf cart there and we're going to try to maybe get this tailgate off of the old Silverado right and maybe get that camera mounted. I brought myself a little glass rack here from work. We're going to pull these wires off and see if we can't get this tailgate off. When you're pulling the tailgate off, first thing you want to do is unhook the tailgate assist that I have on here. Actually, let's unhook it from this end. By the way, tailgate assist, if you need one, glass and accessories, so why wouldn't you? Before we get any further, we're going to take these self tapners out that I got there for the friggin... You know, I don't use Velcro anymore, I just use self tapners. So we'll get them out of the way. Actually, we'll put this all like this. There. Look at the shape of that box, Cap. Jeez, so there we go, we got them off. So now what we need to do is we need to take off safety straps, which just slide up and off, maybe. Here they go. Oh, hold on. Come on. There's one, there's two. Just be careful, because we're gonna you set the tailgate down on top of something that we're not supposed to set down on. There we go. Where's the groove, Captain? The right angle of the dang. There it is. You just had to be on the right angle of the dang, Cap. There we go. Isn't that something? So there's a wire from the old one, which we're not going to be using, so we can just kind of get that out of the way. Just like that. Because, you know, that's what we do. So what we got to do now is get out a drill and a drill to drill, drill, and drill. Now, for any of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I ordered one of these handle backup cameras for the old Chevy Silverado. It's a factory replacement. It's got some grommets on here that go through the tailgate. So these holes have to be bigger. So that's what we're doing right now, if you're wondering. We're making these holes bigger because we need that wire to fit through and we need that grommet to fit on. Careful. I think my old step fit there. She's seen better days, she has. This drill is thick. It's got a full battery. It's got no balls. Not too sure how big I want to go just yet. Let's not go too big. Well, let's go through. Yep, so that might be it. Let's check. No, she's gonna need one more step. There it is. One, two, three, four. We want four out. So let's nail the tailgate now. So we'll go all one, two, three, four. So we want to go to one inch. Oh, careful. What are we at? One more. There it is. Freaking right, we did. Got ourselves a couple holes, we do. So now we're going to take a little file action. File action. No birds. That's what we do. Perfect. I'm going to never seize the holes. That will keep the old rust from starting with never seize. So I'm going to flip this over now. And we're going to try to get the tailgate off. Handle off. We'll put it through first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the handle just snaps off. So let's roll the tailgate over and see what we can't find here. Now they don't, these tailgates aren't the lightest things on the planet, I'll tell you that right now. Here we go. So let's get this handle off. Should be able to just yank on it somehow. There it goes. Eh, just like that, see? And that's it. This one's actually missing a little ring-a-dingy. Sorry about that. This is going to go down this way, but let's get ourselves a little wire action and feed her through. I'll tell you what, I've been full of piss and vinegar on the old projects lately. You guys have her on this project. Oh, careful. Sounds like a dodge. Oh, it's gotta go through this little hole. Oh, hold on, there's a little, there's a little thingy here. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, you can get through there. <gasps> oh, had it again. Come on, baby. Come on, where are you? Right there, how can it, the hole's bigger than dicks. There it is. So I always use a little bit of black wire because, you know, it never hurts to use some black wire. It makes it go through a little easier. And then we'll give it a couple wrap arounds this thing to keep it straight. And now we'll feed it in. Ready? Here we go. Gentle. Easy. Careful. Get through there. There we go. Nice and slow. Got to get the grommet through it. Yep, there we go. Okay, both grommets have to come through. Now we got to bring the grommets through this hole. Wiggle, wiggle. There's one. Careful. Hey, look at the handle went right in place. So let's put that in now. Look at that. The handle fits like a golden. So we'll pull this other grommet in. Get over here. You can't even see me. Careful. So I'm trying to get that grommet through. So if we can get it started, get through here. I don't want to pull the wire too hard because she's right where she needs to be, I think. So we'll just kind of huck it in. 
Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. So you just take a hook tool and just keep picking at it. She'll come. There we go. Now we'll pick them never sees in there. So it'll never seize again. This stuff's messy shit. Help it from rusting. There we go. Stick that in. Oh, dick. Not exactly the easiest thing to get back in, is it? Maybe I have to go bigger than that. No friggin' way. You're going. Oh, we're almost there. There it is. I just felt it cluck. So there we go. Crown it in. What do you think of that? Pretty slick. So give that a quick wipe off. There we go. So now we can stick this on this side with some tape. So we'll stick this up here so it doesn't get in the way. And we'll flip the tailgate back over. Look at that. Look at it. Hey. Freaking great. So we'll slide this back over like so. And then we'll line her back up. And we'll put the tailgate back on since I'm done with this part. So the way you do this is you go for that hole first. Over there. Shit all over the place. I'm going to trip on it. End up falling on my fucking dick or something. We'll slide on the safety mechanism. There we go. So that one's good. So we'll get this in the hole like that. And then we'll bring this one in. Lock her in. Slide on the safety mechanism. There we go. Slide on the tailgate assister and move this. So just so you know, if you're going to get over here for a minute. So just so you know, if you're going to do what I just did, it's always nice to have a glass rack there. Because as you've seen, it made the job like simple easy. But now we got to get this wire through that hole down there. And you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to have to take the tailgate back off on one side because it's a little tight. So let's do that. I got ahead of myself here, boys, girls, peoples. Which is no big deal. Just lift, pull, set on the rack. There we go. That gives me a little bit more room. So make sure you stick this wire in before you put the tailgate on or you'll be dick. And actually, I'm going to tape that up because I'm not going to get to this tonight, the wiring part of it, because I want to do it at the hoist at work. Because I've got to run all the way up and find a grommet, and i got to do that, and I don't want to crawl around the bottom of the truck, because that would just suck. Leave your comments down below if you agree with me. There we go. So that will keep the water out of it for now. We'll put this through here like this. Nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. And then we'll uh, put a little bit of goop around that hole, and then we'll slide the grommet in. I'm going to get the tailgate a little closer. There we go. That should be good right there. We're going to go with the screwdriver on this one. This last one was kind of tricky with that stupid little pick tool. Let's just get a screwdriver into her and we'll give her the freaking one too. There's one side. There we go. I'm going to leave all that extra spooch there. Freaking right I am. So there you go. Grommet's in. Everything's nice and gooped up and stuff. That might be the easiest part for a backup camera factory style. I'm just saying. Careful. Get away from me, B. Yeah, so as you see, it's not that much to put it in a tailgate. If you have any kind of ambition like I do, you'll have her done in five minutes. Okay, 10. Frig. Gotta be like that. I'll have her done in 10 minutes. Captain. Okay, yeah. see? The bird telling you that. And remember, if you lose your belt on your bed rug, just put some self tap into it. That holds it. All right, tailgate up. Tailgate up. Camera in. Would you look at that? Now just so you know, if your Silverado is the top of the line like mine, and it doesn't have the key pole thing to lock the tailgate because the top of the line trucks don't normally have them, then they do come with a plug to plug it in or plug it off so you don't see it. So if you're wondering, there you go. But if you're wondering, there you go. Now all we can do is wire it in. Where's my wire hanging? It's above the spare tire. We're good. I really would love to wire this up tonight, but I'm not laying on the floor. I apologize. I got to zip tie it and go through areas and stuff like that. The frame just not into it. But on a better note, I did get uh, the wire through the roof here and it goes into these rails and down the sides for the solar panel for the golf cart. And I got my self tatters in so it's part of the roof. So I got that part done on it. You didn't need to really watch that. That wasn't very exciting. But I wanted to show you how to install that handle with the camera in it and drill a one inch hole in the tailgate to put the grommet through. That's how you do that. So you need to drill a one inch hole, oh, pardon me, in the firewall to put the rest of the harness in. But my head unit's already set up for that, and I'm not sure what those wires are for because they didn't come with any instructions at all. So don't you worry, we'll friggin' figure it out together. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. It's just a short one today. It's something. I've always got something to do, and I'm kind of catching up right now, so it's kind of nice that way. I've been feeling a little better. The back's been not bothering me as much. That's a good thing. We'll clean up around here. We'll have something to eat, and we'll do maybe a little bit of editing tonight. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe feed the birds, a little bit of bird seed there I got, just a little bit. And that's this, uh, this, uh, the other thing. thing. Hope everybody's having a good day like I am. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. But if not, then just move on to your next video. If you don't like me, fuck off, right? That's what they say. Go bang yourself. Why wouldn't you? I love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.